So if you do any writing or write any blog posts or anything like that, you're most likely going to eventually link to another uh, company's product or something. It could be complementary to your own or be relevant in some way to your blog post. Uh, and instead of just linking to the company or the product, you can oftentimes join their affiliate program and make some money uh, off of the links that you post on your website. Like sometimes I'll mention a website host in my articles uh, and I'll include a link to those sites um, you know, as a reference to, to make it easy for people to click on over and if they you know if it's a recommendation then you know they find you know the person browsing the website finds a good uh, a good company to or a good product to use uh, and you benefit because you make some money sometimes i'll even reference companies in articles where i'm not even recommending them i'm just simply providing a link to their website like i've referred to bluehost in articles i would not recommend them but uh, I do mention them in posts I've written about them, so I will include an affiliate link just because um, I might as well make some money if somebody's going to click it anyway. But if you do use an affiliate link, you want to absolutely be sure that you disclose that the link is an affiliate link and that you can make some money from it. So you don't want any shady practice where you're trying to funnel traffic to uh, an outside website that you're making money you know you and not disclose that you want to make sure people know what your intentions are and that you can make money from that um, you know some people some people will recommend a product just because they can make money by recommending it that's on the shady side of things I, I always recommend products based on actually truly enjoying them liking them or just talking about them in an article. So I'm not doing it just to make money, uh, it's relevant in some other way. So I always disclose uh, affiliate links. Um, and I do that in two ways on my website. So one way that I, uh, I disclose links is in the text itself. So maybe next to a link, uh, like in this GoDaddy versus Bluehost article, um, I actually will you know, reference these different companies like DreamHost, and then I put in parentheses, this is an affiliate link. So I just make sure to call out that, see, and then Bluehost, this is an affiliate link. Uh, and, you know, all of these I have, if I have an affiliate link for it, then I put it and I disclose it, that it's an affiliate link. Uh, there's another way that I disclose on a main page on my website. Uh, that I have that discloses all the places I am affiliates with and links to those places so people can see you know who I'm actually um, referring to, uh, referring traffic to so my affiliate disclosure page actually has links to products that I recommend uh, you know and why I recommend them so like SiteGround I recommend them for hosting because it's really good hosting. MailChimp, uh, it's an easy to use email tool. Uh, Beaver Builder is a great page building tool and Namecheap is a great place to, you can get a lot of things from them but I specifically recommend them for uh, the security certificates if you have to buy one. If you can get one for free with your host then use that, that's great. Uh, but Namecheap's a great option if your host doesn't include it. Uh, so other other affiliate programs I belong to uh, are Bluehost and DreamHost. I don't necessarily recommend them, but uh, well, DreamHost isn't bad, but Bluehost has not been the greatest in my experience. Uh, but I still, you know, I include that as a disclosure that they are affiliates. Um, and also, I need to add to my recommended is um, WP Engine because I am an affiliate with them. Um, I, of course, disclose that in the pages. So if you're going to do any affiliate links ever on your website, be sure you definitely disclose that on a special affiliate disclosure page. And then also disclose it in the link itself, because often people won't see this affiliate disclosure page. 
uh, and it looks like you're trying to sneak something by them if you link to an affiliate website without mentioning it. So just right by the link, include in parentheses or something, affiliate link, or that you make money from this link, something like that, just to let people know your intentions uh, so everything seems honest and out in the open and you're not trying to hide anything. Uh, so make sure you do that, and good luck. Now that you've checked out an Experience video to help you expand your small business online presence, be sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos as they come out. Or you can check out the ebook that will help you grow your email list without even having a website in case you don't have one. Or you could check out another video.